guys, I'm back again. And this time round, round TV. This time round, I've got a VW Polo 2013 play kind of thing. Um, dead easy job. We're gonna change the oil, drop the oil, change the oil filter. Basically, give, give it an uh, engine oil change. Let's do this. Right, there it is, the VW Polo. Right, first things first, put the arms under, make sure it's safe. And uh, we undo the oil cap. Right, oil filter's right there. With a 32 mil socket head on it. So what we do now, we send it up, drain the oil. And if there's any covers, take the covers off, drain the oil, and then put everything back on underneath, and then just send it down. I'm underneath the car now. What we're going to do is, all we do is we just drain it out from here. If I get a long shot on it, you can see exactly where the sun plug is. I'm pointing at it there. Take that off. It's a 19 milli spanner head. Or socket head, whatever you want to use. Uh, just use a spanner, same thing. And uh, just take that off and let it drain out. Right, oil getting drained out as you can see, and what's happened now is, my man Phil, the one and only, has just made me a cup of tea. There we go, there's the cup of tea. Phil, are you going to go and get some uh, digestive biscuits for me as well? No. Go. He doesn't even get me any digestive biscuits, that's my favourites, you know. Uh, as you can see there, I've put the uh, sun plug back on. Nine times out of ten, what I would recommend is you change the oil sun plug, that is, the plug. They're only about two, three quid. Every time you do the oil change, change the sump plug as well. This time round, because this is a steel uh, sump, I didn't really have to. On the aluminium ones, I recommend you, you change the uh, sump plug as well. So yeah, this is a steel one. On the steel ones, the, 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 I mean, they hardly mess up. So you can you can just use the original uh, sump plug. Guys, uh, we've drained the oil. Everything's done underneath. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the oil filter off. Uh, 36 mil uh, socket dead easy on this one just take that off what I recommend you do is you put like a rag or a whatever cloth or whatever you've got you know underneath here because what happens is when you take the oil filter out oil will go spill onto the alternator go onto the alternator belt mess things up that way you don't want to do that uh, but nine times out of ten what happens is because it's a downward facing oil filter there shouldn't be no oil there but just in case if there is oil just put something there like a rag there like I put there and uh, we'll just take that off Socket and 36 mil straight on there, anti clockwise. So make sure you don't slip and you know damage your knuckles. I've done that many times, and uh, yeah, it doesn't feel very nice. As you can see, there's hardly any oil in there because it is a down, downward facing one, but uh, just in case. And there we have it. One oil filter off, what we do is we just put a new one on, make sure you change the rubber ring. Um, the small ones you don't really have to, if they come with it, change it, if they don't come with it, uh, don't change it. And what you do is when you get the new oil filter, then change the rings over. You don't want to take the rings off, snap the rings and then find out it doesn't come with the rings. So make sure you get the new one inside the package. You check if it's got all three seals. If it's got all three seals, then you replace all three. If it's just got the one, just replace the one. That's it. The, case, the new oil filter is on. Dead simple. Just take the other one off. Come straight off and put the new one on. Uh, as you can see there, I've not changed the seals because it only come with the one big seal. Just change the one big seal off. And uh, what we do is we put a bit of oil on the seal as well. That way it will lubricate it and it'll go on nice and easy plus uh, you know you don't want a, a dry rubber seal going onto metal basically it might just uh, you know split it or anything like that so yeah a bit of oil there it'll help it go in as well guys after about 15 20 minutes of oil filling i've managed to fill it up disaster whoever designed the bloody uh, oil filler on this one they need sacking anyway we filled it uh, a really really slow filler that's what i'm trying to say really really slow filler so don't go filling oil in it's going to get it everywhere uh, check it on the dipstick 
I know you can go with the manual and uh, see what it takes, like three liters, four liters, whatever. But just check on the dis dipstick the best way. Uh, the little dotted lines on the end of the dipstick, that's where the maximum mark, mark is. The top of that is the maximum. Anyway, that's just above the maximum. Come on, Phil, start it up. Right, just started it up. Uh, one little advice. Uh, note what you have to uh, this is very important when you start it up do not rev it straight away give it a couple of minutes then you can rev it because obviously we need the oil to come up to the chain uh, to all the cams and everything because it is a chain driven uh, you know uh, engine and you don't want to just start it up and start revving no oil in the chain or anything loose chain and then the chain jumps so that's a little advice he uh, please uh, take that into consideration hey guys everything is done here um, We've just rechecked the oil. Oil is absolutely bang on. Uh, all good. Well, one little advice I'm going to give you guys. Any garage workers out there or apprentices or becoming a mechanic, I'm going to give you a little advice. Let's turn the camera over and I'll show you. Obviously, if you're a mechanic and you've changed the oil, the reason why we change the oil is not, it's, it's not for like the comfort of the car or anything like that. The main reason is for the maintenance of the engine. Yeah. So uh, normal punters, normal customers, they're going to get in the car and they're not going to even know what's been done basically. So the best thing to do, uh, if you're an apprentice or a new mechanic or something like that and you're doing an oil change outside your house or a little garage, do the oil change, give the whole engine a clean as well. So if a customer comes up, looks at the engine, oh something's been done, because to the normal customer, that's not going to make any difference basically. We know and I know and you know, by changing the oil, it's just for the engine basically. For the maintenance of the engine not for the comfort so bear that in mind i'm going to show you how to reset the service light and uh, oil light and then um, that's it okay guys we've done the oil change everything good cars running everything all fantastic uh, what we're doing now is we're going to reset the service light the oil service light and everything so this is how we do it very hard for me to show you uh, with one hand basically we turn the press and hold this button here set yeah and turn the ignition on Right, once the ignition's on, you'll uh, you'll see the oil service like that, and then all we do is, we press this button. This one here, we just press that, and that's it, it's done. I'll try to demonstrate. What we do is, we press set, and then turn the ignition on, and then all we do is, we just press that button, and then that's it. Re uh, oil service light, service light has been reset. That's it. Well guys, that's it, that's how we change the oil filter and oil and reset the service light on the VW Polo 2014 13 plate kind of thing. And yeah, anyway guys, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to know anything about the oil change. Dead easy, you don't really need to mess about or anything. Uh, you can do it outside your house, under the car, uh, oil filters on top, so that's an added bonus. Uh, anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me, hit the notification button for me. And uh, yeah, and I will see you guys soon.